Hi guys and welcome back to my golfers pass here. Today we're going to be doing pitching, uh, 50 yard pitches and making sure that they land softly by using gravity to control the um, the speed and the distance um, and produce the momentum. So let's get into it. Also, by the way, Coach Dad got a hole in one on our last video um, at North Bay and we'd love if you could go and watch the video which is up there and you can subscribe and like. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so thanks Cassie. Thank you very much for bigging up my hole in one. It was such an amazing feeling. Having Cassie with me there was awesome. Today we're talking about pitching. We've done lot, there's lots of different ways to pitch, and today we uh, are going to be trying to um, control the, the distance and the soft landing by letting gravity control the speed of the swing. So we're not going hard. We're basically hinging, dropping as we turn. So the club gets pinned up to about waist height, hip height perhaps. We let the hands drop and then the club, the gravity and the club build the swing. So we're not adding speed, but we do need to make sure that we keep the turn so the club has something to swing to. So if I was doing this one-handed, I'd have it off my right, right heel and I'm just, just hinging and then the club drop. Okay, now if we put two hands on it, we're doing the same thing, doing it hinge and then it drop. I have to make sure that I turn just nice and smoothly. If I go fast, I'm adding too much speed. If I kind of throw down with the wrist, I add too much speed. We're just letting it turn through. So this is my 50 yard pitch. Super soft with a little bit of spin. Okay, sitting down the line. Swinging at that waist height, full hinge, hands drop, drop, drops down, turn through. It's important we turn through so that we have a circle going around our body. And this is what it's like. There's no speed except for gravity. Okay, so Cassie's going to do a couple of swings one-handed. So hinge and then let the club drop. That's it. Good. That's the gravity and momentum working for you. You should put both hands on now. Do the same thing again. We're looking for 50 yards. Oh, that went in the hole. Perfect distance. Oh, that is fabulous. Great shot. We've got them exactly 50 yards every single time. Still dead straight and right on the money. Okay, we're gonna have a little competition now. Cassie is going to play that shot. She's got five balls down there. I'm going to play the shot with one arm. And we're going to see who gets closer. I feel like I'm on a hiding to nothing. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. I'm playing with a 60 degree here. Okay, I'm not too bad. Okay, gave Cassie a little bit of a target there. Oh, that was, I think we're even there. Yeah. Okay, one, one. Oh, it's about the same. A bit closer. I think you've got that one. What? Two one to you. Bit further to the right. Just got a 
from it. Okay, that one was at least 10 yards right. That's spot on, perfect. 3-1. Okay, I'm gonna have the last two. I'm gonna go two-handed because I've got no chance otherwise. Okay. You okay with that? Yeah. Mine was about right, she's got a bit of space to knock it in there. Tiny bit short there. So Coach Dad now has two points and I have three points. Pretty short on that one. They actually continued rolling. But... Okay, I kind of didn't turn through as the club was dropping and I mean, I just got really underneath it. So Cassie's got a good chance. Yeah. That is wonderful. Oh, there was never any doubt. Cassie's the winner, four points to two. Okay, so as you can see, it was actually really easy to do that shot because all you need is gravity. And we all really enjoyed that um, competition. Um, and also make sure you continue go and watch Coach Dad's hole in one because it really was impressive. So thanks for watching this video guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Click the thumbs up button and subscribe. Bye.